Yeah, practice has been going great. Um, very competitive. Uh, nothing that we aren't uh, used to, but uh, I think we're ready to get back and have another chance. Uh, God has given us a great chance tomorrow to go out and compete, and we just uh, want to give it our very best. Um, definitely my teammates. Uh, I mean, they really boost me in every way on and off the court. I mean, uh, we don't play for anyone other than, than God. So uh, that is a lot of freedom in itself. Uh, just going out every day and trying to have fun and give it our best shot to win each and every game. Yeah, um, well, I grew up in a really small town, actually. So there was only, I think, 6,000 in the whole county. And basketball was the only thing. We didn't have football. So that was just like what I grew up doing. My, my whole family, my older brother, older cousin, uh, we just used to play on the concrete and play on the eight-foot goal. And I guess it all started there. But yeah, uh, Kentucky is a basketball state, one, one state championship. So it, it was amazing growing up there and something that I'm very blessed to do. Playing in a smaller town. Feel more prepared in terms of handling pressure and expectations because I mean, it seems like in smaller towns you're almost a rock star from the beginning, and you've got to be able to handle that. Yeah, um, and in the small uh, small school I went to, I got to play varsity as an eighth grader, so that was very fun. I actually went back and watched some video last night uh, after or while I was watching the Kentucky game, so it was good. Uh, I don't know why I went back and watched, but I just uh, wanted to and. Then uh, my freshman year, I transferred to a bigger school of about a thousand kids, and uh, that was really amazing. Uh, the Ashland community was amazing in every every single way. You're about halfway through your uh, first year in college. What have you learned so far about you know the game, whether it's preparing for it off the, off the court or just the mental uh, reps that you have to go through or, or whatever? Maybe what, what have you learned about the game so far? Um, there'll always be another one, or at least uh, if God grants us the opportunity. Um, Coach always says it's just a little dirt. So, uh, I mean, as a freshman, I'm going to make mistakes, but that's why you have teammates like Kyle Rowe, Darius McGee. I mean, they, they're just going to pick you up no matter what, and uh, they, they give me the confidence to go out and try to help my team win and help us uh, achieve the goal that we have set forward. Processing everything, I'll say no. Um, that's going to take some some time. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but it's uh, definitely starting to slow down in the sense of, like I said before, the confidence and uh, just trying to be the leader out on the court. Um, Kyle Road has a great voice and trying to mimic that in a sense that if he's not out there or uh, if it's a lineup change, he's not out there with me or whatever the case may be, just trying to uh, be the coach out on the floor. Um, I do believe I've caught up in uh, in the pack and what what consists um, from each step and we're just watching film and uh, I think there's some there's definitely some room for growth. Uh, I mean every day I feel like we're learning something new as a team, as an individual myself. So I think just with time and with the reps, um, yeah, I'll start to get really good at it. Um, good question. I have not actually. Uh, I watched some whenever Chris Parker was here, but um, I've heard a lot about Georgie and Lavelle and uh, how they approach their defensive end and uh, the pace that they like to play with. So I've heard a lot of stories and things, but I have not uh, had the opportunity to go back and watch. Uh, 
Um, I think everyone on our team has that freedom in the sense of it's a, if it's a room in rhythm three, given the circumstances on the shot clock to let it fly. But, uh, um, I mean, in our meetings together, he has given me and installed or instilled uh, confidence in me and just the freedom that you guys have spoke about that I haven't fully grasped yet myself. But I believe that each and every game I'm starting to grow in that. Yeah, um, I would say I share the backcourt with the best guard in college basketball. Um, it's a it's a blessing because of the sense of how he handles himself on and off the court. He's a great model for all of us, and uh, especially me being a smaller guard. You know, you get to watch someone with uh, all the star lights on him, but he really is the most humble guy on the court and uh, in our locker room. And so just being with him, and of course uh, on the court, I mean. It helps you out a lot because their defenses are focused on him. So, you know, it, it uh, gives me some open looks that I may not get in the future. Coach McGee talked about your toughness, and you saw you came back after you had the cramp again. Coach Stone, you've had your elbow taped up uh, quite a bit this year. What is, is that something that, you know, growing up in Central Michigan, playing on those very concrete courts, that you learn toughness? Yeah, my, my, my elbows are pretty scarred up from that concrete floor, but. Uh, no, I think, uh, I mean, I didn't go to the doctor until my freshman year. They kind of made me after I sprained an ankle. But I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to take an opportunity for granted. Um, like you guys said, starting as a freshman is a great privilege and a blessing. And I just don't want to take that for granted. So I want to give it my very best each and every day.